Hey guys, what's up? It's Motofly Guy here, and welcome back to the channel for Tailwind update number three. All right, guys, so right off the bat, I want to say thank you to everybody who subscribed to the channel. We hit 1,000 subscribers, and I still cannot believe it. You guys are awesome. Uh, when I started this channel a few years ago, I really never thought I'd make 100 subs, let alone 1,000. You guys are incredible. I can't believe 1,000 people want to watch these videos. But um, again, thank you to everybody who tunes into the channel. Because we hit a thousand subs, I finally got uh, off my lazy butt and I came up with a t-shirt design. So you guys should see a link down below if you guys want to pick up a t-shirt and help support the channel. And if not, that's fine too. Uh, I'm just glad that uh, people want to watch the videos. And every time you guys uh, sub and tune in, you know, it gives me a little motivation to keep doing these. Um, so on that topic, everybody's been bugging me about when's the third Tailwind video coming out. So... Here it is. Uh, I've been doing a absolutely terrible job at trying to film working on this airplane. It's It's been all over the place and I really don't know what I'm doing, but we'll cut to some of the footage and I'll try and piece together what I've been doing on the airplane so far and walk you guys through it. So uh, let's go to some of the footage over the last couple of weeks of working on this thing. All right, so as part of the airframe work that I've been doing, Luckily, this panel there comes right off the side of the fuse, so that was handy. And what I was trying to get into was that bus bar, if the camera will show it. There's an electrical bus bar there, and you can see the wiring and stuff I've been yanking out. So the airplane had a bunch of wires that were not being used anymore, pigtails and stuff that uh, were just kind of hanging down. So I'm just going through trying to trace all of that stuff back. Now, the, um, I've, I've got the, um, the amp meter gauge out right now just so I can access stuff. Most of the wiring that I just yanked out uh, was tied into the, um, the instrument lighting bus. So I'm sure they've had different instruments and lights and things like that in here over the years. So. I've been pulling all that stuff out because it's been unused and seeing where I can pull power luckily there's 12 volts that's uh, hot off of the master switch there's a bus here so what I'm gonna probably do is yank this clock out this handy dandy old-school clock don't think we really need that in there and I'll build a plate there probably and put a dual USB outlet in there and we'll find somewhere else on here to put a regular uh, cigarette lighter outlet. And I'm just kind of getting a little bit better understanding of the wiring while I'm in there and uh, making progress. ended up replacing all of the instrument lighting in the panel, ripped out all of the old incandescent post lamps and upgraded those with some new LED units which look awesome. It was a lot of work but I'm really happy with the results and how that turned out. I also installed an LED strip for a cabin or panel floodlight which uh, I think will come in handy. I also put dimmers on both of those. so. Moving on the theme of lighting, we also installed an LED anti-collision beacon out back which replaced uh, an old strobe and strobe pack that was in an op. So it was nice to remove that from the airplane. We finally finished up the engine and we got the cowling reinstalled. Uh, it looks like most of our leaks have been stopped and the engine's running good. We've gotten probably an hour at least on the ground of runtime, um, clean the oil screen, everything looks good on that. 
And one of the last things that I've been trying to work with is relabel the panel, which I stole the idea from my good buddy Frank, who uh, gave me the idea to print, design and print them up at home on the printer with some label sheets. So hopefully those turn out the way I hope they will. And um, outside of that, we're really down to minor things. Um, we're really, really close to flying the airplane and I'm super excited to make the first flight. I'm really excited to bring you guys along with me on, on that one. And once again, just thank you to everybody who watches the channel, who subs to the channel. Um, I never never dreamed I'd have a thousand people watching these, uh, these crappy little YouTube videos that I make. And uh, it really gives me motivation to keep going. And I, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. So um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed update number three. And hopefully in the next video, uh, you'll be up in the air with me. So uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.